Yoga basics. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Ardha in Sanskrit means half, Chandra is the moon. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. This is an open hip posture, and it's really easy to start it from warrior two. So for warrior two, we have a yoga basics on this. Go find it if you need to. We have heel to arch alignment. The front heel is in line with the back arch. My hips are open. That means both my hips are bing, facing away from each other. Tailbone's descended. That's protecting the lower back, zipping the belly up, and pulling up on the pelvic floor. We call that Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha. Inhale, reach your arms out to the side. Exhale, bend the front knee. Now, to go into this pose, it's easier to put your back hand on your back hip and then slide your front foot in a bit. From here, you put your hand on the ground, so front hand goes slightly in front of the front foot, and then pop your back leg up. We wanna to try to keep the hips open here. A common misalignment is to drop the front hip. So two hips are open, and then the top arm reaches up. If you can find your balance, look up to the top hand. Another common misalignment we see here is the, the hanging neck. Hanging neck is really bad for our neck muscles and our shoulders. So if it's too straining for you to look up at your top hand, look down at the ground or front ahead. I'll show you. So starting in our beautiful warrior two, back hand to the back hip, walk back foot in, plant the hand down, and you can also just look to the ground here. My two legs are firm. Ideally, we want the back leg to be in line with the back hip. Some people like to do half moon like this. You don't need to. You can keep the long line. And then option to look up, option to keep the arm up, or you can look straight ahead. We want the standing leg to be strong, but the knee micro bent so we're not hyperextending. You can also just firm the thigh of the standing leg to avoid hyperextension of the knee. And then once you're here, we want to rotate the whole body open so we're sideways. If it's too challenging for you to touch the ground, you can bend your knee. This is just fine. This is still half moon. Some people like to use the aid of a block instead. I like to take the block with me. You can also just place the block before you go. So from warrior two, back hand to back hip, walk the foot in, place the block down, pop the back hip up. If you find your balance, you can lift the arm. You can rotate the shoulders and chest open. You can look up. If you don't happen to have a yoga block at home, you can use a water bottle. <laughs> so these uh, metal water bottles are wonderful. They're great yoga props. Same thing. You can just use your water bottle. It's really steady as the prop that you need. So shoulders are stacked one on top of each other. Hips are stacked one on top of each other. Legs are strong. Back leg is pushing outwards. Foot can be flexed. Arda Chandrasana, half moon pose. 